story, and um, it's uh, the economy today, as we always say it, and uh, the aim remains still the same to ensure that the best comes to you and to enable you manage the economy the best way you can. Okay, it's going back here, and um, of course, uh, I have things to bring forth this day as we continue. Uh, it's a beautiful day, definitely, and I know and hope and pray that um, better things will keep happening as we keep living, because the most important thing is to be alive and well. That's the next thing. And when we are well, we expect the best from the maker of the heavens and the earth. All right, that's it on the program. Again, I say thank you for joining us and um, for some calls I have received after, after the program. You know, outside the program, I have received calls from all over the country commending me and commending this program, commending this station. Thank you so much. I want to say it on air now that um, we've been receiving these calls and um, I have been receiving and um, in actual fact some old friends of mine have even called me from this so i want to say thank you from all across the country thank you so much all right we will have our uh, stock exchange talk and then we also have our news bits uh, we'll continue with what we have and then the topic for today has to do with the financial problem that the country is in the naira that is being devalued and so naira depreciation rather and then um, the question is there uh, any hope for the masses well we'll find out any hope for the populace we'll find out okay let's share what we have from the stock exchange we need to get to the stock reports first before we go to the oil market can we have it Exchange rates plunged across the currency market due to record amount of the U.S. dollar shortfall in the official and parallel market. With analysts projecting sustained volatility, the Naira depreciated by 15 basis points despite rising balance in nation's gross external reserves. FX point data from the FMDQ platform, the Naira depreciated by 0.15% closing at 1,603.16 per US dollar at the official market. The declining in the value of the local currency followed increased demand for US dollar at the Nigeria Autonomous Foreign Exchange market Monday. Last week, the Central Bank of Nigeria defended the Naira in the official window by selling $60 million to authorized dealers' banks. The Naira is falling while the authority is growing the nation's external reserves with lower U.S. dollar volume sales to boost liquidity in the official FX market. Latest data showed the balance in the Nigeria's foreign reserves inched to about $39 billion, a level seen last in 2022 during oil boom. CBN data revealed that Nigeria now has $38.992 billion as gross balance in the nation's external reserves. In the parallel market, the Naira closed at 1,705 on the back of sustained increase in demand for invisible payments. At the current exchange rates in the informal and official market, FX gap has widened to 102 Naira, thus creating incentive for speculative currency trading activities. Oil prices rebounded by over 1% in the global commodities market after China announced a reduction in its benchmark lending rate. Brent crude climbing to $74.15 and WTI rising to $70.62. While I do address these reports of FAC disbursement leading to Naira depreciation, the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Waleidu, has addressed reports credited to the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Yemi Kadoso, of FAAC disbursement resulting in significant pressures in the FX market. Mr. Edu addressed these concerns while taking questions from journalists during the ongoing World Bank IMF 
F Summit in Washington, D.C. on the statements by the CBA governor on FRAC disbursement resulting in the depreciation of the Naira. According to Edu, the problem with Nigeria's foreign exchange market is supply, and as an oil producing nation, Nigeria could address that by significantly increasing her oil production output. He said the key about the foreign exchange market really is supply and as you know we are an oil producing country we just need to get our oil production up and that will deal with that issue of foreign exchange supply and pressure on foreign exchange anytime there are large flows while speaking on having a single digit interest rate mr do noted that for now the cbm will continue the monetary policy tightening until inflation is defeated and noted that Western economies could drop NPR because they have successfully defeated inflation. Uh, thank you for still being there. Apologies for uh, that echo and that sound, but we'll see perfectly the next time you have it. Uh, let's look at some of the things we have in the stock exchange. The, well, well, let's get the other one before the oil market. Yeah, the, the, you have the decliners there, and um, okay, but I'll just mention it the way it is here for now. But then I also have um, some orders. Uh, before we leave this on air as it is, and uh, okay, let's look at the top gainers then. I was wondering whether we don't have it. We have. Uh, what you see here at um, WAPIC uh, gaining 6.25, uh, Red Girl Insurance gaining 5.77, and Honeyflower gaining the other. I also have a branch cohort uh, with 9.28% gain, and uh, UPDC having a 6.09% gain. You wouldn't see that there right now. The universal insurance still has 6.08. Okay, and then um, the decliners we have uh, uh, M NFM there, uh, while um, univer universal insurance Univinsure and then GTCO and um, Sterling. Uh, well, there are all, all decliners there, minus nine, that is a uh, 9.93% for NNFM and um, 5.56 for Univ Insure and 2.29% for GTCO, 2.04 for, for Sterling Company. I also have uh, tantalizers. Tantalizers has also gone down among the top decliners. I also know that I have um, another one here that is. Um, uh, regular insurance that is not part of what you can see there. Uh, they've also gone down, and Honeyflower also have gone down. Well, thank you so much. Let's look at the oil market. In the oil market, um, we have seen the WTI crude at uh, 70. One dollars. That is seventy-one. Uh, what do you call it now? Uh, dollars twenty-six cents. And um, Brent crude. Uh, that is seventy-five dollars fifty-six cents. Of course, Brent crude belongs to Libya, and uh, Maban crude is seventy-five seventeen. While Bonny Light, that is Nigeria's, is still at seventy-eight dollar per barrel. And um, that you can look at and see that Bunny Light has a price that is higher than the others, and it's been there for uh, about nine weeks now. So we hope that um, it could get better since it has got to this. We we'll still look forward to seeing it go the more. Well, that is the way uh, the particular oil, that particular brand of Nigeria's oil is. And um, well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Victor. There, thank you also, Bright uh, Chukwebuwe. Let's go ahead and um, think of uh, the next thing we have. That's talking about um, 
the the topic for the day entirely today and my guest. Well, I have a guest, and um, and that guest is uh, someone that can also help us discuss this. That's why he's uh, in the first place. He's a financial analyst, and he understands the stock exchange very well. Uh, no, not uh, he understands the foreign exchange business very well. And so he's here to talk with me and with us on the program that we have a topic, Naira depreciation, any hope for the masses. My guest is a regular on this station, though not on this program, but it's good that he is here today to handle it in full capacity as his office. I'm talking about Habib Gajo, a financial analyst. Welcome, sir. A BD change expert. A uh, BD change, change expert, yes, yes. Yeah. BDC expert, yes, that's it. Uh -huh. mm. So it's good to have you here today, sir. Uh, thanks for having me. Yes, yes. And um, you see the BDC business and the way it's going, sometimes contrary, sometimes in line with that of the central bank. And um, you see that uh, what we have as our topic today is Naira depreciation. You can tell us more about these things because you have seen it. From the BDC side, what is it that will make it keep depreciating? And from the other side, you can also prefer solution after seeing the reasons for which it has, it, they, it has been happening. So let's hear you, sir. Yes, uh, first of all, uh, when you see Nera depreciate and what causes it mm -hmm. uh, is demand and supply. Mm -hmm. uh, as we speak today, uh, all our companies mm -hmm. has already uh, not working mm -hmm. because lack of electricity, lack of gas, you understand? Mm. So they don't have energy to power their uh, factories, their machines, and the cost of uh, uh, a spare part and so on. Mm. So production has gone down drastically. Agriculture that's supposed to hold uh, uh, the economy to reduce inflation, you understand? Yes. And also, it's also going down. We have seen how insecurity and so on, cost of transportation, put the food uh, uh, food prices in a high level. You understand? Mm. So we depend on import almost 80 to 90 percent and export 70 percent. In export, you know there is uh, uh, oil oil sector and uh, uh, non-oil sector. Yes. So uh, only oil and gas uh, that has, uh, that the Nigeria is exporting in a large quantity, mm -hmm. you understand? Yes. And that's where we in our forex, mm. you know, unlike before mm. that we have uh, something like cocoa, agricultural produce. Yes, agricultural yes. produce mm. uh, that give us uh, foreign exchange uh, yeah. uh, flow. But uh, now, also the agriculture has gone down. So, mm. lack of inflow of the forex, that's what puts the naira under pressure. The demand of the dollar mm. put the naira under pressure so that is why uh, you can see nera depreciating sometimes weekly sometimes monthly sometimes on daily basis there will be a time you will go to the market they'll give you price or you call they'll give you price before you come or you pay mm. the it price has changed. gone up that's all been all time yeah yes <laughs> so i've, seen, I've experienced this uh, much uh -huh. so it's, uh, and it looked as though it was magic. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so it was painful because the, the, the change, the alteration in the, in the price was against my own will because it went against my own uh, budget. budget, you know. It yeah. went down beyond what I expected. Yes, so it's, uh, uh, it's demand and supply, mm. you understand? Yes. But what the, what the government can do you understand? Yes. Let, let the uh, Nigerian government or the central bank mm. of Nigeria and the uh, 
uh, those who are managing the monetary policy mm. and the physical policy, uh, let them put head together and work in one direction. Mm. You understand? Mm. How to uh, boost the economy uh, for growth. You know, there is, uh, econ there is something that you can boost. It's not for uh, growth. You understand? Yeah. It's like... Uh, Putting subsidy on uh, forex mm. is not for growth. You, you understand? Yes. But when you allow the market to flow, you you you, you, you understand? Putting uh, all these measures. For example, now Nigeria is uh, producing uh, less than one thousand three hundred, or let's say one thousand five hundred uh, uh, million barrel per day, mm. if Nigeria can reach 2 million yes. or 2.2, 2.3 mm. million per day, you understand? Mm. So more money will come in, we will earn more forex, where we we'll close the gap, uh, you understand? Mm. And let those who are uh, 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 from the side of agriculture, mm. you understand? from the side of uh, uh, science and tech, mm. ICT and so on, mm. that they put more emphasis on that. By the time we, we resume exporting large quantity of cocoa, mm. large quantity of palm oil, mm. large quantity of tomatoes, large co co quantity of, of uh, ginger, ginger, you uh, know, uh, as, and, and so on and so forth. You, yes. you understand? Mm. So, it will granite, granite, uh, uh, granite, cotton, mm. uh, they are mm. all there. Mm. You, you understand? Mm. And it has been abandoned mm. for local consumption. consumption. You understand? Yes. So it has to go to uh, 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 that uh, uh, for export. Mm. You understand? When we move that, more forex will come to Nigeria, and more flow of dollar will be available mm. so the availability will now threaten the nera mm. uh, you understand mm. uh, sustainability will also uh, 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 bring back the glory of nera yes when uh, you have like a, a, a price of forex mm. that stand uh, like three three months, like first quarter, second quarter, mm. in one price, mm -hmm. it has not shifted more than two to five naira. Mm. You understand? Yes. You have a stability. Mm. But in this situation where you have uh, a difference of 100 naira, uh, difference uh, in uh, one week, or 15 naira in, 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 in one week or two weeks, mm. uh, uh, that means uh, the naira is under pressure. Okay, so, so we'll still continue this particular, on this particular uh, line of thought, but I want us to take a break for just a minute or even less. We'll return and we'll continue with this same topic of Naira depreciation and with good explanation from Habib Gajo. The black comedian of the Federal Republic, I tell you when it comes to the best of entertainment, the best of news, the best of information, something that is educative, you're right here at the best place to see that. It's Captain TV. Do you know what? Increase the volume. Keep watching. Don't touch the dial, okay? Uh -huh. It's your girl in Kechi Blessing Sunday. I want you all to keep watching Captain TV. Please keep And so we're still here. I want to continue from that particular line of thought that um, um, Habib had. Uh, because honestly, I must say that this is um, a, a special opportunity for us to thrash out this thing so that it will be made very clear to everyone. Please continue, sir. Yeah, um, so... When there is uh, uh, so much demand of dollar, mm. you understand, mm. uh, definitely uh, Naira is under pressure. So what makes uh, Naira under pressure, it does what we call depreciation, mm -hmm. you understand. Mm. It's just like devaluing uh, the Naira, mm -hmm. whether officially or uh, unofficially, <laughs> because central bank used to put their own price. Yes. Uh, maybe on daily basis or on weekly basis. Yes. So uh, from there, you will now understand that uh, the monetary policy 
and the physical policy mm. are not working very well. Yes. Because when you want to boost the economy, you must have a target. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if we can produce more than 2 million barrel of per crude day. oil, or, crude or, oil or, or 2 million, yes. you, you understand? Mm. And uh, we consistently just imagine 70,000, uh, 70, uh, uh, 71 or 75 uh, dollar per crude oil mm. per barrel mm. uh, when you multiply it by 2.2 .2 million yes. or 2.2 or 2 million yes. you, that, uh, in, a, in let's say in three months mm. you are talking about a more than billions of dollars yes. you understand mm. so that more than uh, billions of dollars you pump it to the economy and uh, uh, you now boost your electricity you now take care of uh, insecurity mm. you now fix the infrastructure because we have infrastructural deficit mm. it will give you more money mm. to fix uh, some bad roads mm. uh, and also uh, manage the transportation mm. so that it will bring down the inflation because mm. whenever nera goes down mm. food goes down yes everything goes uh, uh, go down there. Yes. Uh, they say when there are crash, yes. so many people will crash. In trouble. Yes. When, when, <laughs> when, <laughs> when there are I mean, who was also <laughs> smile. Yeah, yeah, there's a smile. Okay, now look at this. Um, the, uh, what do you call it now? The, um, the importation of um, uh, the crude that they have been using for uh, that one that Dangote talked about. No the, no, the sale of the crude to Nigeria, to Dangote okay. in particular, in, in, in dollar, in Nera. it has also gone to become a problem. That was why, uh, after a chat with the president, he decided to give instruction that the, th that the sale will be done in Naira. Now, this way that it has started the sale in Naira, I also gathered today that um, the... the, 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 the the, the, the fuel for the aeroplanes that, uh, were, were, that was brought in from abroad, Dangote is taking a huge chunk of it now. And so that money, that foreign exchange in getting that, um, I've forgotten what it's called anyway, but the one for fuel, uh, fuel for the flights. Uh, for the jet, uh, jet, uh, yes, yeah, yes jet, jet fuel. So it, it, is the, it has helped to reduce the problem of sending, pumping out dollars and um, having, not having much. Now, to you in your business, now that um, Dangote in particular, Dangote as a body, general, not as a human being, is working to help to reduce the pain and the strain that the dollar is having, that Nigeria is having under the dollar, has, has it by any means, or can it by any means help to reduce this thing we're talking about today? Yes, honestly, Dango uh, Refinery will help uh, 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 bring back the glory of Nera, mm -hmm. or threaten the Nera, mm -hmm. by reducing uh, the importation mm -hmm. of PMS, yes. diesel, uh, jet, uh, A1 mm. of aviation mm. uh, and so on and so forth. You understand? Yeah. Now, uh, uh, approximately in a year, Dangote will save Nigeria more than 26 to 27 percent of uh, forex that is going out, out of the country. Out of the country. You understand? And, and that is and in, in dollars. Yes, and it will help the government mm. uh, by reducing their balance sheet. Yes. So it's just like a win-win. Mm. You understand? Win-win-win. Mm. Mm. Uh, and also, uh, Dangote has started. Mm -hmm. I know many will follow. Mm. Uh, uh, they will have a competition. Mm. That's why the, that NNPC is no longer reliable. Mm -hmm. It's no longer... Uh, uh, sustainable mm. and NNPC cannot uh, uh, bring the ab uh, availability of the product mm -hmm. uh, and now if we stop the importation because that is there in the in our laws in our constitutions and in our uh, law books mm. that anything we produce 
in our own country. You understand? Yes. We will not import it. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Yes. So it has become a contraband. Mm. So uh, if the government will enforce that, anybody that import uh, um, uh, refined oils, Oil. you, you understand, mm -hmm. uh, should be seized. Mm. So it will give Nigerian uh, oil marketers more uh, sense of belonging, mm. more reliable, mm. you understand, yes. to also participate in the market, you understand, yes. because they are the stakeholders. Yes. Today is Damgote, mm. tomorrow it may be uh, 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 other dollar, the yes, next is maybe uh, Adenuga, Adenuga you, you understand, yes. and uh, uh, those who are doing modular refinery yes. they can expand their capacity mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. so availability will now start bringing the oil price down mm -hmm. and uh, uh, excesses of dollar in our market mm -hmm. or our dollarization in our market and our business mm -hmm. in our way of life mm -hmm. it will also reduce drastically you understand yes. so that nera will gain its strength you know, Nera can participate in a market, mm. in an open market, in an enclosed market, maybe even in some other uh, African countries, mm. uh, 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 Nera will participate. Okay. Unlike now that we are, uh, just if you cross, uh, you are having Nera with SEFA in Benin Republic or Niger or any other African country, they are seeing Nera is valueless. Valueless. Yeah, 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 can you understand. imagine? It, yes, you remember that these countries, their monies were nothing to be compared with the Naira yes. in the past. Yes. I, so, I don't know how this happened. Yeah, it's because our, our structural uh, economy has collapsed. Uh, yeah. despite, and what all caused all these things, we rely on those uh, 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 foreign investors yes you understand mm. whether you call them uh, portfolio investors mm. who invest in uh, in a money mm. we call them direct uh, foreign investors, investors yes. Yeah, yes you understand yes, yes. and those who will come and invest in our economy mm. uh, putting their own factories and uh, manufacturing uh, production and so on you understand yes uh, bad policies of the government and uh, uh, lack of control mm. in our foreign exchange yes. and depression of NERA yeah. the, will not allow them to come and participate. Yes, it will be difficult for them to come in right yes. now. Yes, nobody will. Like the ones that are here, the ones that are already here, are, are, are dying. Leading. You, you really have left. And yeah. The ones that are here are still struggling, just as you said, dying. They're yes. Struggling to survive. Yes. So uh, them, even the basic ones, the, the, the indigenous ones, are not finding it any funny. Yes. So if all this thing has been taken care of, yeah. you start seeing portfolio investment, you start seeing uh, 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 investors coming to invest in our own economy, mm. not only in in banking sector mm. you understand yeah. or in capital market mm. but in uh, 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 in the real life of uh, production yes you understand mm. so uh, that's the way nera will uh, regain its uh, strength yes and that what will also benefit the ordinary man in nigeria okay but as long as Nera is depreciating, Nera is going down, we are also going down. down. So there is no hope for a common man mm. because whatever, however you work or whatever you aim, it will still melt before 24 hours. Yeah. If you earn 5,000 as a profit, that 5,000 transportation and feeding will melt it down yeah. you understand yes. but any time that you did not uh, 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 gain profit definitely you are going to enter into your capital base and that's how uh, your money will be uh, your capital base mm. will be going down no. you understand yes. so uh, let uh, i also advise the central bank yes. uh, before devaluing nera mm. and putting putting hiking more uh, 
borrow rate, mm -hmm. lending rate. Yes, more than lending rate. Uh, lending rate, lending rate. you understand? Yes. I think it's, it's also killing businesses. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And it, uh, 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 removing many players in the market mm -hmm. uh, uh, on that way, they should, they should emphasize on reducing the inflation when you take care of the inflation when you reduce in the inflation you manage it more especially food inflation definitely uh, that lender rate will go down and it will make more uh, stakeholders and key players in the market to participate and uh, uh, borrow for profit not borrow for loss it's just like uh, uh, you borrow one billion naira to to boost your business and at the end of the day you pay 26 percent of what you borrow what what is going to remain in your capital base so definitely yeah when you put it in the cost of production and so on and so forth uh Nothing to the comes market out. nothing comes out nothing, com nothing comes you, you out understand? so that like this morning as i was coming i i checked because went into the filling station to get some fuel i found out that the, 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 that station was 1150 mm. per liter you, see. you know it was so painful uh, because yeah. whatever money you think you have you don't have it by the time you finish fueling your car yes you don't have it yeah uh, also uh the to the federal government, mm. uh, those who are managing or the responsibility of uh, uh, physical policy, they mm. are the implementers of the physical uh, policies, please, they should start looking at uh, policies that has human face, mm -hmm. policies that will sympathize with the uh, ordinary man, man. Uh, on the street and also uh, help the middle class to also boost uh, 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 their businesses. You understand? Yes. Uh, the primitive farmers will also participate because. Yes, I like uh, it. I like the word you used. Go on, conclude yeah, that statement. Yeah, so that I'll uh, say something about it. Yes, because mm -hmm. uh, those primitive farmers, farmers mm -hmm. are the ones that are boosting our economy mm. today. You, you understand? Yes. In the sense that you see. Uh, whenever I, I I listen to the central bank yeah, or the uh, uh, the minister of finance mm. and so on, mm. they are just giving figures of uh, uh, microeconomy. Uh. You understand? Mm -hmm. Our market has nothing to do with microeconomy. Mm -hmm. We have orthodox uh, 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 economy, yes. running of economy. We have societal way of running the economy. Mm -hmm. We have all in a way that uh, China and other uh, former third world countries mm -hmm. so uh, survive mm -hmm. and move from orthodox and uh, societal and uh, 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 basics of, uh, of the economy mm -hmm. to micro economy. Mm -hmm. But you can't jump from nowhere and said you want to base your economy into a micro economy, economy. it doesn't work because we don't have the data mm. the central bank have don't have the data mm. even today as we speak even our banks don't have data mm. our telecommunication don't have data mm. whenever you ask them about data they'll start panicking running helter to shelter mm. you understand mm. it is just uh, 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 like a gimmicks yes. uh, it's something like uh, you don't have it mm. and uh, you are now trying to look for it mm. and you abandon the one you, you have, have. Uh, yes because that's why i said <laughs> I, I need to say something about it <laughs> yes. you rightly said primitive way our primitive farming system that's what we've been having in this country and um, then when we had almost no uh, uh, for no, no modern tools for, for farming. We were doing quite well, marvelously well. Uh, that uh, Nigeria was exporting all these food products, yes. farm products, across the country, across the world. Yes. But now that there is supposed to be, it's supposed to be that we have had the foreign implements that will help us so that we'll do better. 
were nowhere to be found. Yes. The, 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 the products are nowhere to be found because of the fact that there are, if I, they say they want you to give, they want to give you, um, what do you call it, fertilizer. And so prepare, wait for it, we'll give it to you. By the time the fertilizer that is very expensive eventually comes to you, by the time it gets to you, there is a problem. Because it has, if you go and implement it, if you go and apply it to the products at that time, it will kill them. Because the time for the fertilizer has gone by. Yes. You know? Yes. That is why I said I don't believe in microeconomy. Yes. Because in, in farming, mm. there is what we call pre-farming mm -hmm. and post Farming. Mm. What the post farming is the harvest. Yes. But the pre farming, for example, if uh, 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 the government will now uh, uh, supply f fertilizer mm. in any amount or any price mm. given, you understand? Yes. Let it reach to the farmers six months. Yes. Before, before the time. So before the time. How to handle it and what to do uh, and what quantity to apply at any point in time uh, you understand today we have more than uh, more than uh, uh, 46 federal university of agriculture yes. with no one no university in fact uh, during president muhammadu buhari's regime mm. they spent almost uh, uh, five years of strike yes so tell me how that will happen that, that, that will happen they are the, the scientists, mm. the oil scientists, mm. uh, soil scientists, yes. you understand, yes. farming crops and so on. They are all experts on that and they have large uh, uh, acres of, of land, farms, yes. you understand, mm. to uh, what? Practicalize what we are saying. Yes. It's so, so nothing happens there. Uh, nothing happens because they are on strike. Mm -hmm. They have not been paid, you, you understand, mm. and they can't do for free. Like you said, uh, 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 the local way of doing it, we are still doing it since in, uh, before uh, pre-independence yes. and post-independence. Post we are still doing it. Mm. We, up till today, we don't have a standard mechanized farming that we can base our agriculture into a, the micro, uh, measure it mm. in a micro economy mm. and have maybe an accurate uh, 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 figures mm. or base uh, or even estimate mm. on a micro uh, 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 basement of the economy through the agriculture. You, you understand? Yes, yes. Uh, even the oil and gas, it has not been a, 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 a stable that you can base it. Today they will tell you we have the uh, uh, three uh, 1.2 million barrel, mm. uh, 1.3 million barrel, 1.5 million barrel, 1.8 billion barrel. That's so why it's, our, our you, you oil means the way it's there is no been consistency going. In, 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 in the oil sector. sector. When you come to the energy, where production mm. is being needed 100 percent. Because we, you have to have 100% production, mm -hmm. you understand, yes. to build your economy, mm -hmm. to build your capital, mm -hmm. you, to know the dividend of your uh, uh, investment. Yes. But as we speak today, nothing, and we don't have uh, anything to measure our economy, and the World Bank and uh, IMF will now, t will now come to Abuja, or anywhere in the United States of America and said we should borrow, it will now boost our our economy and we are going to suffer for 15, 20 years. Who told them? I wonder. How do they know? I wonder. Eh? You've not got, you, got you, it. It has never worked in any country. Yes, since 1986. It's never worked in any country. Since 1986 that they introduced a structural adjustment adjust program. program. Up till today. Nowhere has it worked. Yes. Why can't you jettison it? And the, why, why are the people in authority even no, going for them? You know, why, why are they shifting it from 10 years, 20 years, uh, uh, 30 years? Yes. Now it's 15 years. Yes. So how, how, how can we trust them? No, no. And if the government uh, were to do, how the Nigerians with the, the, the business uh, uh, environment mm. will understand that? How can an ordinary man understand that we will continue suffering again? Or if we borrow from them, we still, the borrowing is too it's much. It's too much. It's, it's too, too much. much. Not just that you're saying. You, you understand? It's too much. 
and, uh, not for a country that wants and, to get and, up from where it is. I, I, I don't understand uh, 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 our African countries. Mm. You borrow from the uh, uh, left hand, mm. and you are going, going. You are going with the, le uh, uh, the left. To the right. left, yeah. and said, "Please forgive yes. me. Mm. Forgive, forgive our." Our debt. Yes. How? How? What you borrowed, you're still using. Yes. And you ask them to forgive the one. And if they forgive, you come up fresh and start borrowing. Yeah. Remember that our former president, Obama Sanjo, yes. cleared it for Nigeria. But when Ngozi Okonjo Iwala became the, the, the minister, and through her, he made them clear it. Oh, we were happy that at least our children will, will have rest. But do you know that what has been borrowed now is almost four times or five times more than what we were cleared from? Yes, then it, it was a few months. Then it was thirty-five uh, yeah. billion dollars yes. that the military uh, uh, borrowed. Yes. You understand that mm -hmm. the, uh, Obasanjo mm -hmm. uh, uh, inherited yes. in nineteen ninety-nine. Yes, that's what cleared will become zero. Yes. Uh, uh, at that time, Nigeria, where uh, Duarun Obasanjo, we saved almost forty-two billion dollars mm -hmm. in our foreign mm -hmm. reserve yes. from one point eight mm -hmm. billion mm -hmm. to forty-two billion. Eradua boosted to forty-four billion. Mm -hmm. You understand? Up to forty-six billion. Yes. Uh, when uh, uh, Gula came, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, political instability. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Who will lead? Nigeria, who will govern Nigeria? Mm. So the policy makers deviated from managing the economy. They now went managing the political system yes. and uh, uh, the, struggle, the, the, the struggle of Allow leadership the to, be, to be destroyed. Yes, it's the struggle of leadership take a center stage and. Uh, 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 the economic uh, uh, political economy is going down and that what push uh, 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 President, jo uh, the Naira to come down. Uh, President Jonathan mm -hmm. to borrow two billion dollars mm. to buy arms uh, to fight uh, terrorism, terrorism uh, yes. at that time was Boko Haram, Boko Haram. but after Jonathan we have so many militia and mm. militant group and mm -hmm. terrorists mm. in you understand yes, all sir. scattered all over all the, country. The, uh, the country so all these things are, are something that we we can ma we can handle it we can manage it if the president has a political will you understand yes. he will come out and bring nigeria together and settle all these things you understand yes uh, 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 and face the economy but in in this manner i don't see uh, any alternative even the government has seen the only alternative is to borrow to borrow and borrow and borrow you understand i do uh, so uh, uh, at the end of the day uh, we will reach 2030 2050 <laughs> uh, oh, and see to, what will happen to, uh, to, <laughs> and, and to, to three thousand to three years will, will come up to, yes in, in <laughs> life as with uh, what do you call them? Debtors. Yeah. Debtors all over them, all over the world. Yeah, 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 they don't seem to understand what the, what the effect of what they are doing at the point in time. Yes. You know? They, uh, look, they, uh, just uh, before we just round off, I want to mention <laughs> that um, the president has also said that, uh, has also told Nigerians to uh, uh, embrace the alternative system of, tra of, of, trans of, of transport. That is, um, instead of going for for PMS and all that, that we start going for CNG and all, and that they are trying to help that see that the PNG is uh, made available everywhere. Uh, that, and they gave an analogy that you can um, buy petrol for 1,000 naira per liter, which is not possible anymore because it's higher than that. Then, then you can get um, a, a equivalent gas uh, as uh, 200 naira per liter and all that. And I have asked the question. Where is it? Because we've not seen it, and uh, we've not seen the vehicles, and uh, we've not even seen the filling stations where you can buy these uh, uh, CNG. These are the things that sometimes people will begin to wonder, uh, are our leaders living with us in this same country? Have you uh -huh. seen any CNG station? No, I have not seen one. Uh -huh. You understand, but uh, uh, what, I, uh, what I will say on this regard, that uh, they should make it available 
You understand? Yes, because and if, they should if, if it's possible that they, are do, they will do it like this, it will help this Naira that we're talking about today to appreciate a bit. Uh, uh, secondly, uh, one, they should make it available. Two, uh, they should make it uh, everywhere in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, three, is to reduce the cost of fixing it because you can't fix a CNG uh, in your vehicle. Mm. CNG, uh, you can't turn uh, your, uh, uh, convert your vehicle to convert your CNG vehicle use, yeah. with a 1.2 million naira or yes, 900,000. Most of uh, um, what they call them, uh, uh, commercial transporters, mm. most of their vehicles are higher purchase. Mm. So how can you cope with uh, with CNG mm. and also uh, 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 paying the, for the vehicle? For the vehicle. You yeah, the government has said separately so, uh, that they, they, they yeah. are doing it for people for free. For free, we are here to see it. Yes, we are here to see. We are here to understand it. And another thing uh, that baffles me, they said is more safe, uh, safer, yes, secured, yes, yes. and so on and so forth. Mm. Well, last week in Edo State, a, one of the vehicle blast and kill almost fourteen people. And what uh, the company came out and said that they have went to uh, Quark's uh, CNG uh, uh, fixer. Uh, fixer. Uh, fix it. So, so we, we, we now have a Quark mm. uh, that we don't know and the government don't know mm. until the disaster happened now they are, they are telling us the mm. quack then who are the quacks yeah. where are the quacks so sincerity of purpose mm. that is going to make the the uh, uh, C cng mm. to become a more uh, uh, reliable uh, 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 transportation system mm. but in a situation of this uh, uh, kind of this the cost of fixing it and the safety, I think uh, the aim of CNG has already been defeated. No well, matter how it is, even if it is 50 naira, yes. the aim well, has been defeated. Let's, let's just believe that there is a better explanation for all this. Yes. We are waiting to see how yes. they will well, Because the, uh, the poor considering, man... Considering the, 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 the situation of the country, looking at uh, atmosphere, the atmospheric condition of Nigeria. You see, the heat of the sun is much. Yes. And uh, because if the countries that have used it are the places where they don't have much of the sun, it's easier for them and better yes. than for us yeah. where there is heat pressure from the sun uh, in now, the country. Now, uh, finally, mm. you, uh, you said, is there any hope for a common man? Yes, yes. There is no hope for a common man mm. in this type of economy that mm. we are operating mm. in our own capital uh, mm. uh, uh, system in ca ca capitalist uh, system of government. Okay. Uh, uh, one, the the ordinary man is now pushed to become a poor man. A poor man, uh, a middle class has been pushed to the uh, 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 middle uh, poor person, poor person uh, and the rich is now coming down to the, the level of the middle man <laughs> to, to the level of the no to the level of the poor man oh, the so the, the, the man. only rich people in, uh, Ni in Nigeria we have today uh, is the elite the, the politicians yes, and, and uh, the people. corrupt yes. politicians and uh, uh, civil servant or public servant oh, whatever well. they call themselves thank these are so the much, only so much, bourgeois class we have we today have in, in Nigeria so well, that is where we'll be concluding for today, dear viewer. Thank you again to Habib Gajo, uh, Bureau of Change expert that has come to help us understand some of these intricate things that people don't explain well. Thank you for doing justice to that. You're welcome. And I hope you'll be here again sometime to be part of the program. Inshallah, right, thanks for sir. having me. And um, I want to say special thanks to Brad Chukwu Ebue for helping us reach out to you the way we did. Sheriff at Sheriff, uh, Emmanuel Solomon, uh, Victor Adeye, I already mentioned, and I'm not forgetting Comfort Johanna, and, uh, and a sister, of course. I want to say thank you for being here, and we pray that the best is what will come to you always as we follow us on this station. Okay, you can't here. May the best happen.